Hey guys, this is Lewis from CCG here to give you an update on the add-on spotlight for World of Warcraft. But this time, however, we are not going to be talking about an add-on. We are going to be talking about a website called Ask Mr. Robot. Now, to start off, go to click the link in the description, or if you are on the forum and Deadly Intent, click the link above the video post, and it will come here to askmrrobot.com forward slash wow forward slash gear. Now first off we're going to pick the character. Uh, you just put in the server, uh, server name, realm name, whatever, and your character name. In this case my recent character, I already have it there, it's Monte Cristo. Uh, we're going to look at this. It may take a few seconds. And first off to the left we have our classes as well as the specs. These specs are cookie cutter specs and are not your specs. You need to understand that. So if you're not running on a cookie cutter spec, it may make a slight difference in this. It may or may not. Uh, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. I rarely do I go exactly by the cookie cutter spec unless I honestly don't care. There are preferences in it and there are certain things that you know you don't need to follow verbatim. Anyway, uh, in this case I'm going to be under blood as I'm in my tank gear right now. You need to go first to your my gear and under here it's going to show all the gear you have on when this last refreshed. So if you put on a new piece of gear and you want it to show up in here and you have this page open, what you need to do first is log off your character and wait until you get to the character screen. Once you're at the character screen, you're going to come back to this page and you are going to press reload. It's going to go through, collect the information from the armory, and it will repost it here. As the armory does not update the information every single time you get a new equipment, it waits till you log off because that would be a lot of information going to the servers all the time. Now you may notice that there are red marks next to, next to my gear and that is indicating that it is not my best in slot and if I click the best in slot tab it tells me which is. Now you can change this down here under options. You can look at you can look at only tier 11 raids which means it's not going to include anything that comes from Firelands. So it's not going to include the Firelands rep uh, items it's not going to include the BOEs probably because I have checked exclude BOE world drops I'm not entirely sure but I can guarantee it's not going to include any items that drop off the bosses in Firelands only the items that come from tier 11 rage which are BOT uh, Blackwing Descent and Throne of the Four Winds it also is going to include any quests that may have come from the Fireland dailies that you can get items from. I am aware that those come up. If I hit apply, it's going to show that I have a lot more best in slot than I did previously. You also have the option to turn on heroic items or turn them off. Uh, by default, it's off. And then you also can optimize for PvP gear. I do not know exactly how reliable this is. I have not tried it and I cannot vouch for it. I don't know anyone who has, but if you want to give it a shot, go ahead. You also can uncheck anything that comes from reputation vendors. You can uncheck expensive enchants, uh, run speed enchants, etc., etc. Now, you also can change the race because races have their own, you know, little buffs like the increased crit for Worgen or the increased hit for Draenei. Now, this is all going to affect the optimization and the gear. If you look at the optimization, this is all relying on the information down here at stat weights. So in this case, my mastery is the highest stat weight. So if it finds a reforge where I can reforge to mastery, it's going to reforge to mastery rather than parry or dodge. Next in line is going to be dodge parry, then stamina, even though you cannot reforge for that. It also applies to the gems, and so far on the left we have the gems, in the center we have our enchants, and to the far right we have our reforge. So the gems are also affected by stat weights, and anything that is boxed in red means it's suboptimal and can be better. If I click optimize, what it's going to do is change it to a green box, and if you notice, the it changed. This is not the enchant I have right now. This is saying this is the enchant you want. This is what Mr. Robot is telling you to do. And if you can afford it, I would do it. 
I would not use it however if you know the items are going to get replaced fairly quickly if you are in full tier 11 or tier 12 or getting close to tier 12 I would run through this it does make a difference it made a big difference in my DPS set uh, I pulled about four to six K more after I did the reforging and optimizing now back down to stat weight if you are a very um, spreadsheet kind of person or you find someone who said oh well you know what mastery isn't as important as I thought it it has a weight of maybe 0.65 and dodge and parry are much higher on the scale so then you can change that manually and apply so you don't have to completely rely on the preset there are presets I can change it to avoidance build where it will set dodge and parry as higher Remember, this does apply, this does work for healing specs and DPS specs, not just tanking. Uh, again, I'm not sure if it works for PvP. There are other things in here, including specs, trinkets, and forums. I do not, I have not looked into those at all. But if you have any questions, I can look into it. Again, if you are in deadly intent, go ahead and feel free to ask me, Monte Cristo in game if you have any questions about this and I'll do the best I can to explain it or if you are just a random viewer on YouTube go ahead and message us at cross console gaming or CCG or CC gaming at yahoo.com and we'll get back to you as quickly as we can thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe the video and I'll catch you later